Another segment from the Ken Patera shoot interview, this time on topic with former pro wrestler Adrian Adonis, of course, very well known in the AWA and WWF later on, wrestling the likes of Roddy Piper during WrestleMania 3. And in this segment, Ken Patera talks about Adrian Adonis destroying a hotel room. And let's get right to it. Like Adrian Adonis, I was, uh, we were over in Pittsburgh. I was having a show there one night, and he had, uh, he's funny, uh, his real name's Keith Franks. He was adopted by a Jewish family, I think, up in uh, uh, Buffalo, New York. So I think it was uh, one of his cousins or a stepbrother or something, you know, and some buddies of his from, uh, they were cocaine dealers. They, they came down to uh, <clears throat> Pittsburgh to watch us wrestle. Well, they brought Adrian. It was Adrian's birthday, so they brought him down an eight ball of cocaine and a little plastic baggie. And so uh, that afternoon, uh, Adrian started snorting that cocaine. He got real fucking bad. He was he was on that shit every day for a couple of years. But anyway, uh, he uh, he didn't want to take the bag of cocaine down to the arena with him that night in Pittsburgh so he stuck it up in the in the ceiling in the in the motel room <clears throat> so we get back and he goes to find it in the ceiling he couldn't find it. he tore half the fucking ceiling out I said Adrian what the hell are you doing because I had gone to my room that I came around knocked on the door who is it a paranoid as shit I thought the FBI and the cops were chasing him or something or looking for him. So I says, Patera, oh, so I walked in, the, his room was destroyed. I said, what the fuck you doing? He says, somebody was in here, they stole my cocaine. I said, did you check the panel above the door? No. So I reached up there, here it is. And in the meantime, he had torn half the ceiling out in the fucking hotel, destroyed the room. You know, broke the furniture, he was all pissed off, and they're just they're paranoid as shit. And um, he said, close the door. So he put a towel by the door, and he turned the fan in the bathroom on, and oh, just oh, unbelievable. But a lot of the guys were like that. They, they, they'd get so strung out. They'd do that shit, they'd get strung out for three, four, five days at a time. Mm -hmm. 